Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So Susan Collins is about to become more concerned and distraught if reports are correct because Collins has just been accused of voting for policies that directly affect and benefit her husband's business. This news comes at a very inopportune moment <laughs> since Collins is fending off a Democratic challenger named Sarah Gideon. So here's the deal. Collins' husband is a man named Thomas Daffron, and he was the chief operating officer of a lobbying and consulting firm called Jefferson Consulting Group. Over a 10-year period of time from 2006 to 2016, Jefferson Consulting Group received almost $60 million worth of government contracts. So as the Huffington Post reports, quote, Collins and Daffron have known each other since the 1970s, but began dating in 2010 and married in 2012. For much of that time, Collins was a senior GOP member of the Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, which oversees government contracting. They also cite two instances in which Collins voted for legislation with a direct impact on her husband's business. So in 2011, she took two different actions. One was to repeal a 3% withholding tax on government contractors. Then she also took part in, actually spearheaded a movement to try and stop then President Obama from implementing a rule that would have required government contractors to disclose their political donations. The Obama administration ultimately ditched that idea and gave up on that rule altogether, but yeah, not, not good. That it literally directly impacted her husband and his business. So Collins is also under attack for writing a law that some say contributed to the current U.S. Postal Service financial issues. An attack ad points out that Collins received 200000 in campaign contributions from private delivery companies, obviously insinuating that her votes were bought. What a shock. Not in our government, not in the United States. What? No, that doesn't happen here. Uh, Collins, <laughs> Collins is in a pretty precarious position in Maine. I mean, and it's one of her own making. So I don't feel sorry for her. Uh, she took completely partisan votes. She nominated Bill Barr. She voted for Mr. I Love Beer and I Cry When I Don't Get My Way, Brett Kavanaugh. Um, as well as her ridiculous excuse in voting against impeachment. <laughs> so we'll see where this all goes. Who knows if you know, they're going to make any of this stick. I mean, Collins is trying to point to the fact that these votes that she took were bipartisan and even Democrats voted against them or for them. But it doesn't matter who else votes the same way you do. <laughs> it's the fact that you voted for or against it, and you know that it directly affects your spouse. So big, big difference. As always, guys, like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.